Sacramento businessman Lung Yi was one of thousands of Vietnamese who evacuated by boat to avoid the wrath of communist soldiers. Now, 30 years later, he's living his American dream. He's telling new immigrants to keep ties to their culture and to embrace all that America has to offer. At first glance, Lung Yi's obsession with a certain Hollywood action hero may not be apparent. Oh! Good morning, sir. How are you doing? But everyone who comes and goes from this cafe... What can I get for you? ...knows him by one name. Lung A? No, not that, but this. I like the movie, uh, Clint Eastwood said the Dirty Harry. You've got to ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? Thanks, Harry. Believe it or not, that's exactly how 49-year-old Lung Yi found his name Harry, and it's caught on. Oh, I think it'll work great. Yeah. Easy to remember. Seven days a week, you'll find Harry running the show, cooking, serving, sharing conversation with customers at Harry's Cafe. Harry, he had a dream, and he always wanted to have his own business. But what most customers don't know is Harry's harrowing journey, the hardships and the decades of struggling to get where he is today. Harry is one of thousands of refugees who fled Vietnam after the fall of Saigon. He escaped by boat at the age of 19 and left behind his wife and his parents. And my dad's crying. And, and I left my dad at that time and my son. I haven't seen him. And my wife pregnant. <laughs> And I don't know what to, to do. He spent 18 months in a refugee camp in Malaysia before making it to the U.S. in 1978. Harry arrived with nothing. With nothing. And I'm not even cannot speak one uh, word in English. Harry found his first job in San Francisco as a dishwasher and a busboy. He eventually saved up enough money to bring over his wife and son Larry to America. Eventually, he worked his way to Sacramento, landing a job in the graveyard shift at General Produce. He struggled through the language barriers and everything else, but he always had a smile. Harry climbed the ladder, eventually becoming a sales rep for General Produce. But after 16 years, he wanted more. He left and opened a restaurant last December. There's a lot of people, they love this uh, smoked sauce. Harry's culinary talent was clear early on. Harry would be the main cook for all our potlucks, and everyone else would just show up. It's been nearly three decades since Harry left Saigon. It's a, the time that flies so quick. Today, Harry has three grown children. One's a lawyer, the other a lobbyist, and the third child is now in college on a basketball scholarship. Talk about a success story. Right next door to Harry's Cafe is his wife Lynn's beauty salon. And to top it all off, Harry's landlord is his son, Larry. This is um, uh, the end result of uh, a lot of sacrifice and hard work uh, on the part of our entire family. And while the fall of Saigon seems so long ago, it's a monumental moment that has forever changed Harry's life. And we have to come to a different country with no language, and we don't know what our future is, and we have to learn from the beginning just like a baby was born. Like so many others, Harry lost his homeland, but he found a new beginning. Over here, where, where, you know, wherever you live, it's freedom. Freedom to survive and thrive in the U.S. You're going to survive in this country, but you need to work hard to become successful.